Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to the hobby. Today we are going to be cracking out the brand new Pokemon car set Scarlet and Violet Temporal Forces. Now I've heard a lot of interesting thing about this set. I'm going into this set almost blind. I do know some of the cards inside of it. The big chase cards inside of the set is going to be the special illustration rare versions of the future and past Pokemon. And it looks like the future Pokemon are doing a little bit more popular. Some of the new iron Pokemon are very, very popular. Overall, that surprises me because I thought that the ancient Suicune was gonna be the big chase card from this set because I think it looks really good, but that just goes to show you where other collectors are at when their opinion is gonna be different from mine. And I think that's really solid because there's a lot of really cool special illustration rares. And that's the first thing we're gonna talk about in this set is that the pull rates for this set is very, very brutal. It is a rough set to crack open. The pull rates for this set is very low. You're unlikely to pull a single hyper rare or special illustration rare inside of a booster box. 36 booster packs and you're unlikely to pull anything good. Now, I gotta say, the booster packs themselves look really good. This is such a solid looking booster pack, so I'm really glad that they revamped some of the packs. And these are some of the best looking packs. The pack arts themselves look really good. From a pull rate, it looks like Peltan fades and some of the older sets like Paradox Rift are doing better in terms of the pull rates. The pull rates for this set is very rough. There we go, we got ourselves a full art Scizor EX. So neither a future or past Pokemon, but that's a pretty cool one. And I dig the color on it. That's a really nice looking full art card. All right, let's keep on going and let's see if we can pull ourselves something really good. Overall, it looks like the chase cards are going for between 70 to $50 per card. And those are the big hit hitters. The special illustration rares are gonna be the big hitters, the most popular cards from the set. And it makes sense because they are the art cards and people are always chasing the art cards. Even though the hyper rare cards, the gold versions are a little bit more rare, people simply don't care. They want the special illustration rare versions and being 70 to 50 dollars i think is the right price point for them hopefully they don't dip too low i think that is the right price point just because they are very hard pulls if you're cracking open three booster box you're only likely to pull really one wow check out that pikachu art that's a very unique one it almost doesn't look like pikachu the um, the way pikachu's head is staring off in the distance it was just very elongated it looked kind of kind of interesting but yes, overall, this is a very challenging set to pull anything really good from. So that's a little bit unfortunate because I think we've had some really great um, pull rates recently where a bunch of the recent sets were just a ton of fun to crack open. You know, Paldean Fates was a lot of fun to open. Paradox Rift was a ton of fun to crack open. 151, while the pull rates for 151 can be a little bit brutal, it's a fun set to crack open simply because of the cards that you're getting are all from the original 151 Pokemon and people really like that because it's a callback to base set almost. And so I can understand why that's a lot of fun. Would I recommend you crack open some Temporal Forces? Obviously, if you wanted the special illustration rares, I think it's actually easier to just simply pick them up on the secondary market. Even now, even though the set is brand new and a lot of the cards from the set is probably gonna dip lower, the special illustration rares are really, really cheap. Are you gonna crack open three booster box and pull yourself one special illustration rares? That's $300. You could pretty much get all of the top chase cards, pretty much the complete set of the ancient and future special illustration rare for 300 bucks. In fact, I think you definitely can do that. So what's the point of cracking it open? Well, this set can be fun to crack open. If you really want to, I would say crack open one booster box just to get the experience in because you'll definitely get the experience. Looks like we got one of the brand new Acebex card. We got ourselves Reek Boot Pod. These look really, really nice. Fully texturized pink magenta Acebex. So pretty cool card. Ooh, and we got ourselves our first illustration rare. We got ourselves the Relicanth, one of my favorite ancient Pokemon. So that's a pretty cool uh, illustration rare. These are also kind of hard to come by. It looks like your odds of pulling a illustration rares are a little bit lower than I would want. I would essentially want you to pull 
one illustration rare inside of every single six booster packs. And right now it looks like you're pulling them in one in every 13 or so booster pack. So what that means, if you open up a booster box, you're getting yourself two to three illustration rare. Two to three illustration rare inside of a whole entire booster box. Seems a little low to me. I would want to pull right around five or six. And these aren't that, you know, like wild of pulls. There's the Arbok illustration rare. That one looks really, really good as well. Check out that art. Gorgeous illustration rare, actually. So yeah, hopefully we pull more. I'm really happy with this. The fact that we've already pulled two, it's possible that we pull four, which means we are definitely beating the odds. You are already beating the odds if you pull three illustration rare, which doesn't sound like a lot, especially because some of the illustration rares are very cheap, you know? If you look at prior illustration rares from older sets like Paradox Rift and um, uh, Paldea Evolved and other sets like it, there are many illustration rares that are going for below a dollar because they are very easy pulls. It's not too difficult to pull them, even though they are look looking really, really gorgeous. And the market really dictates that when you got 400 illustration rares on the market, it ends up being about a dollar a card. So what do I think of this set? I'm gonna tell you guys, I'll be honest, I was not really super hyped for this set. The art are really nice. There's a ton of really cool art cards from this set. The one unfortunate thing is that I just could not remember the name Temporal Forces. I don't know what's about Temporal Forces, but I could not remember this name for the life of me. I think it's going to be just one of those middle of the road set. And I think that's completely okay. It doesn't need to be the best set of the year. It is unlikely that this is the best set of the year, especially with uh, the next couple of months, the Pokemon company is probably going to announce what their new Japanese holiday set is. They're probably going to do some really cool illustration rare cards inside of a brand new uh, holiday set. It'll probably blow us away, very similar to prior one has like 151 vmax climax all of those old uh, sets like these are universe all the holiday sets are just really really solid and they'll probably blow us away so temporal forces is going to be a very middle of the road set and that is not technically a bad thing i think this set is perfectly where it is the one issue with this set is that no one's dying to crack it open if you're bored of pokemon this set is not going to make you hype for any future products. You're not gonna be back into collecting just because you open up Temporal Forces. By the way, I'm gonna be doing a live stream later this week on Friday on Whatnot where I'm gonna be giving away a ton of Temporal Forces booster packs. You do not have to do anything besides join in on the live stream because I'm gonna be giving away cards to any viewer pretty much. A viewer like you could win a bunch of cool Temporal Forces booster pack and maybe get your own Gengar EX. That's a really cool card. It is not a big hit, but I just love Gengar and that's a really nice Gengar art even as a normal EX card. So how it's gonna work is that I'm gonna be giving away six Temporal Forces booster pack. It's just gonna depend on whether you win or not. And if you win, you get three booster packs where I will crack them open live on stream. And then I'll send you an additional three booster packs so you can crack them at home. So you might get something good during the live stream. If not, there's at least something that you're waiting on when you get home. So maybe you can crack open some booster packs yourself and that'd be cool. You of course don't have to and save those cards as well. And if you don't want to join in on the live stream at all, that's completely fine as well. I thought about it and how I wanted to do the giveaway because I know some people want me to crack open cards uh, on the live stream. But if I crack open a bunch of cards for you and I don't pull anything good, well, you're going to be anticipating a really disappointing package at home right so that wouldn't be fun so what i ended up doing was what if i give you three booster packs with your order as well so i will crack open three booster packs and then i will also ship you three sealed booster packs so let's say i don't pull anything good inside of my three booster packs which let's be honest temporal force is a, is a very tough set i'm unlikely to pull something good in three booster packs you're not going to be completely disappointed and say oh well I didn't get anything good from Jake's live stream. Uh, what's even the point? Well, I'm gonna ship you three sealed booster packs from the exact same box. So then it'll give you something to be excited about because you never know. If I don't pull something good, now the odds of you pulling something good 
might have increased. Is that the gambler's fallacy? Probably, but who cares? Hey, you miss all the chances you don't take. So crack open those booster packs for yourself. So that's how I thought about doing it because I thought about it. And if I win some booster packs, right? And, uh, and the live streamer doesn't open anything good. Well, that's just disappointing, right? Because let's say you spend like $10,000 on Logan Paul's live stream where he opened up a first edition base set booster pack and you didn't get any good cards inside of it. You didn't get a hollow rare Charizard. Well, now you're just disappointed. It doesn't matter when the package is coming to your house. Well, I mean, it kind of matters because you're still spending $10,000 on a booster pack. But still, you're not going to get anything crazy there. Wow, these A-spec cards are really cool. And they seem to be a little bit of easier pulls than I expected. Yeah, still only two illustration rares. No hyper rares, no secret rares yet. No, no special illustration rares either. So very, very tough set and only two illustration rares. So this is probably an average booster box and that's disappointing for sure. So hopefully you guys can get something really good from my live stream. If you want to join in, the live stream is going to be happening this Friday. I think I'm probably going to do it around um, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time probably. That would be a lot of fun. So definitely join it if you want to. And if you don't want to, you do not have to. So hopefully it'll be a fun experience. That's my goal. If you want to get some free booster packs from me, that's a way to do it. If you want to just cheer me on and uh, see some people crack open some Temporal Forces and maybe you can get yourself... A grotto illustration rare. That's really nice. That is such a cool artwork. Reminds me of Studio Ghibli. This is probably one of my favorite pulls so far. It might actually be my current favorite pull from this whole entire box. So that's really good. We're going to put that one right back there. And we have beaten the odds from the statistics of 8,000 booster packs opened by TCG Player from Temporal Forces. I believe we cracked open more illustration rares than we were expected i think the average is three per box so we're right on the average if we get just one more illustration rare we're we're considered lucky i guess depending on where our secret rare is you might not even get a secret rare from a booster box which would be really unfortunate let's get over the last bit of this and so i can give you guys my final impression from this set final impressions i can even say it right now is this is not going to be a set that you're going to be super stoked or pumped to crack open. If you, And if you were, because the set is really cool, there are cool cards inside of it, and it doesn't have to have a Charizard Chase card. The pull rates are just not great. So it doesn't make sense for you to crack open this set, but on one booster box just to enjoy yourself. So that's exactly what I would do is crack open one booster box. Enjoy yourself if you want to open up Temporal Forces. But unfortunately, this set is almost forgettable which is nothing bad it's a very middle of the road set and it doesn't stand out as being good nor bad and the chase cards inside of it are also really just basic i don't think that in 10 years anyone is going to go super crazy for any of them wow we got ourselves a secret rare cypher maniacs code breaking very very specific trainer card i am a fan of the full art trainer cards but this one's very specific but I dig it. I dig it. That's pretty cool. So there's our first secret rare. Does that count as a... Um, I don't think that's a special illustration rare. I'm very confident that is not. That's just a regular floor trainer card that I didn't even know was in this set. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully we still get one special illustration rare. But um, as the pull rates has suggested, you're unlikely to pull a special illustration rare, which is unfortunate. I don't know why the English booster box don't have any guarantees. We got ourselves seven booster packs left, so there's still a chance. There's still a chance that we pull something good. Um, I wasn't planning on doing a giveaway in today's video, but if we do pull a special illustration where I'm going to give it away, I'm just going to give it away if we can find one. So that will raise the stakes a little bit. If we pull a special illustration rare, I'm gonna give it away. We got six booster packs left from Temporal Forces. I'm enjoying myself, believe it or not. This is decent. The background's not terrible. The illustration rares that we've pulled so far are fantastic. I love all three of them. I just wish we got a special one. That'd be extra exciting. So let's crack open our last five booster packs. If we don't pull a, a third illustrate, oh my goodness, I saw a little bit of rainbow, guys. We pulled something good. We pulled something good, a hyper rare card. So let's see if I can give it away. 
we got ourselves Metagross and the Iron Crown EX Hyper Rare. This is a very hard pull. Not one of the big, uh, super expensive chase card from this set, but from what I understand, these gold cards are a very hard pull. So there you go. We pulled ourselves the Iron Crown EX. Now I did make a promise that if I pulled something really crazy, and that's not crazy, but I feel like I would be doing a disservice if I didn't give it away. So we are gonna give away the Iron Crown EX. Uh, we're actually gonna bundle in all of the illustration rares from today's video. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, just check out the link down in the description and I'll do a little sign up. Oh, well, we did the card trick when we didn't need to, not that it mattered. There was nothing good inside of that pack. So we pulled ourselves a hyper rare card and I'm excited about that because that is an actual very hard pull, even if it's not the expensive card because the most expensive chase card inside of this set is gonna be the special illustration rare version of the Iron Crown EX. But I feel like we've already beaten the odds of this booster box. Anything else, Torterra EX, it's just gonna be gravy. Two more booster packs. Can we get a special illustration rare? Probably not, especially because we've already gotten that Iron Crown EX, the gold one. But yes, I don't think it'll be um, as good if I just give away the Iron Crown's EX. So we're gonna be throwing in all of the illustration rares in today's video. Oh, look, there we go. The Cypher Maniacs code breaking, the regular version. Interesting. We got ourselves Iron Thorns on the back. Final booster pack, final chance to get something good to add to the giveaway. All right, final booster pack. I'm excited about this. Big of all, Great Tusk, Electivire, and we got ourselves Iron Leaves EX Special Illustration Rares. Wow, wow. Okay, this booster box was kind of crack. If you watched till now, this booster box was kind of crack. All right, we got ourselves Iron Leaves, Special Illustration Rare, which is one of the most expensive cards from the set. The second most expensive card, because I do think the Iron Crown CX Special Illustration Rare is the most expensive version. But if you would like to win these beautiful cards, including the Illustration Rares in the back, we're gonna be doing a giveaway for all these cards. So yeah, I'm really excited. That was cool. This was a good booster box in the final pack. Who would have thought? Thank you so much for watching, guys. We're gonna be giving away all three Illustration Rare, the Iron Leaves EX Special Illustration Rare, and the Iron Crowns EX Hyper Rare. This booster box was cracked. It just took till that last booster pack. A very middle of the road set, but I enjoyed this booster box a lot. It was a ton of fun to crack open. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you guys next time.